Hi, welcome back. I'm Zyvon. Thanks for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio. Uh, I went ahead and just let my uh, build queue complete off camera there. There was no reason to watch that spin. That way we can just jump right into this uh, oil processing and cracking these down into more useful, the more useful petroleum gas. So all these are going to need the oil being cracked and then water. And watch this be the wrong way around. Yeah, oil on top, water on bottom. Thank you, game, for that. That's just so nice. Um, I have water here and water here. Actually, that's the same water, isn't it? It's coming off the same pump. I've never had an issue with one pump running the entire processing as far as volume goes. We'll watch that just to make sure. But So I guess if I bring... I want to bring the oil up here. I have to bring the water around. So is it easier to bring this water over or this water up? And I'm going to say this water over. Very dark. Let's put a light down. Um right water water can't make that turn there i could go no i was gonna say i could go underground to there but that's in the way underground to here i know it's such a long run maybe i shouldn't do that let's just do this So that's water, and that's oil. Oop, I just cut him off. I didn't mean to do that. We still are going to need some lubricant. So you should still have it? Yes, good. And you have what you need? Good. Except for you don't have power. But that's a, that's a fix. It's an easy fix. Let's make a bunch more pipe. Because I basically just will tie him into this cylinder or storage tank and then do the same thing again. So there to there. Awesome. And same thing, you're going to be on the top, aren't you? Yep. Going to bring water here. Water is up here. I guess I could just... Bring that like that. Just keep... Just keep making stuff. You have everything you need except for a power supply. Oh, not quite enough to reach. And then you add to <sighs> into the petroleum. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that'll um, that'll definitely help the battery and. Um, plastic production. I do have to remember that I am relying on moving batteries over to here, which we have already gone through. 
Wow, and I had put like 200 or more over there. And we've already chewed through that. Blue science is coming to a halt because I don't have batteries over here. And the reds. Advanced circuits are being limited because of plastic, so... But it should pick up here because we've, we have increased the petroleum by a little bit. Yeah, it's staying around seven. Now, nah, I think we're actually losing ground still. Well, there was a big push. Why was there a big push? Oh, we're not constantly making it because my input of crude oil is limiting. But we are making petroleum gas pretty much non-stop right now because we have a backup of heavy and light. So, um, I think that's good enough for right now. Let me get the automation of the, um, of the, uh, construction robots going and then we'll, uh, we'll go down and get some new oil. And I think I remember now why this is here. This is going to bring my um, sulfuric acid up here so that we can build the next upgrade, the processing units. They require sulfuric acid. And I was going to build one or two of them up here. So i got to keep that in mind as far as it needs just the green and the red circuits, which are this way. So really that sulfur gas is going to turn anyway let's look at building robot frames uh, steel not a problem batteries are nearby we're probably going to have to increase the battery production capabilities and that's fine that means more oil again still but that's on the that's for a little bit later we need circuits and engine units. The engine units are a little bit complicated just because the engine units need more circuits. Everything takes circuits at this point. See how we're getting more and more de dependent on copper. But it needs engine units, which is all just iron and steel. Pipe, gears, and steel. Um, we're not... Where was I also making steel? Oh, I'm just making a little bit here. That's not a lot. Really, all that's doing is going into a box and making um, ammunition. Right. Okay. So, we have our main production lines of copper and iron up here. I could just pull them out and could make some steel right through here. We're probably... Did I leave enough room? I did. I can do another battery right there. So let's not use that space. What I'm looking at is a place to make some steel and gears and what else and pipe gears steel and pipe all come from the iron and I don't want to interfere here so I think I could start it pretty much right through here and actually I can move that line over I think I can do this. Well, I'll find out. Yes, that works. And I'll take those circuits because I'll use them. Oops, see, I got a jam. Clear it. Okay. And I'll even that up. Nope. Like that. So I got copper and iron right here 
ready to be used. I need to make steel so that it'll feed and then make gears and pipe. Pipe is just iron plates, right? Pipe, yeah, just iron plates. So, an electric furnace. I'm going to need more of those for sure. The pipe and gears I can just make with these assembly ones because they're a half a second. They're attacking nearby. Oh. They're not even getting to the walls now. The lasers are doing such a good job. Hooray, lasers. But they do need to be fast and surge just to keep up with it. Because it is a... They're fast recipes. So I want to make... Uh, I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Let's make... Uh, well, let's make gears there and we'll make... I was going to say we'll make pipe here. But you know what? Instead of putting those onto a track and having to deal with right side, left side... I don't need these anywhere else in this factory run. Let's just feed them directly into the thing making the engines. I do want that to be an assembly two. Actually, I think it has to be an assembly two because it's a three. Yeah, it's a three part recipe. And it needs steel. Okay, perfect. So now these can just be regular because uh, it'll get the bonus stack size capability since it's moving from a container to a container. Um, oh, I want to make the line straight. I know it's silly, but I've been called worst. Right, fast inserter there. You make these, you give them to him. You make pipe for me, please. I'm going to have to assume that it's making a slightly different size pipe for these because that's a huge pipe to put into an engine. But, you know, uh, suspension of disbelief. Yes, 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 yes. All it needs now is steel, which I had this here to make. Yes, you will make steel. I believe a slow inserter is just fine. A regular speed inserter, because it takes eight seconds to produce and he can load that in eight seconds. Does he get four whole pieces before this fills? Yeah, so that's fine. It'll stay always working. So run some steel up. Who's uh oh? Mushroom cloud, not good. We have a breach in the wall. The enemy has gotten in where? Where? Oh, down a little bit more. Oh, they're down there. Ah, and I'm stuck in the trees. They're stuck in the trees. What are they eating on? Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, they took out the power and... No, these were not lasers. These were regular guns and they didn't last. Well, now they will be regular lasers. Uh, because we have the beginnings of the logistic network with the robots and so forth, we now, when things die, well, I think it's always been that way, actually. When things die, you get that ghost image with the purple line or the purple bars under it. Um, if we had construction robots and we had those supplies available, the construction robots would actually rebuild it for me. But I don't have them 
online just yet, so we have to wait on that. But let's let's go ahead and load you up with some lasers. Uh, that wall needs to move, and that wall needs to move. Oh, and I'm picking up damaged wall. Damaged wall doesn't stack. So, it is to your best. Oh man, and I just put it right back where I didn't want it. It's best to repair walls before you pick them up. Because your inventory gets messy. And I need more repair packs to get all this repaired. And I also just realized I painted myself into a corner. I'm inside the walls. Uh, gun turrets? No, we want laser turrets. Upgrade. Uh, let's upgrade the damage first. Laser turret, damage upgrade. Yes. Well, let me get outside the wall. And we'll just keep repairing this up. Okay, good as new. What was this one guy over here eating? I don't know what was here. I guess he was stuck on a tree, so he was eating the tree. Okay. Works for me. There's a breach in the gate. In the gate. In the wall right here. Okay. So is there any real damage done up through here? No. But these are out of ammo, so we need to just replace them with lasers. Okay. You have quite a you have quite a bit of ammo. So I guess we'll leave you for now. But uh, let's back you up with uh, two lasers. Because we can. And lights for good measure. We are starting to dry up some of this ore. He's only got a hundred pieces left. Alright, where was I before the mushroom cloud? Um, well, that's right, working on making uh, engine bodies. Uh, sorry, robot body frames. What are they called? Flying robot frame. So it's going to need more steel, which we've got the steel, no problem. Um, electronic circuits, which we kind of have. Might have to make some more. Ah, we need to make that electrical engine unit from here. The electrical engine unit, I kind of just want it to feed directly. This side, or, um, don't know. Don't know what the good idea is here. Alright, just more annoyances on attacks. Uh, it needs the green... Okay, so it's going to be over here. Let's just do that over here. And just steal more of the green circuits off of this line. And see if that'll hold up to supply. Now, it has this automatic input here for... Um, where we need to put the lubricant because it's a liquid and we can rotate it around but I'm going to put it up top and just drag it over um, 
I only need one tank of this, so I don't have to worry about expanding that tank line. I think that is right. And I don't have a straight section of pipe. Alright, so it has lubricant. It has green circuits. It just needs... A long-handed inserter to reach across here, and I'll have to underground pipe this stuff, but it now will have everything it needs once it gets power. Just power. And this needs the steel input, and it's going to need power. Right. Almost there. Next part is to actually start building the, the frames themselves. But I'm going to, have to take a break here. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you've enjoyed yourself or enjoyed the video. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe so you know when uh, I put new content on the channel. Uh, all right now. Take care.